Hey guys, welcome back. So we got a hot day here today, um, but I got work to do. So in uh, just over a week, about a week and a half from now, I'm going to be doing a wilderness living challenge where I'm going to be going up in, out, or sorry, I'm going to be going out in the woods, but up in a tree. Um, I'll talk about that in just a second, but the wilderness living challenge, basically I'm not taking any food with me. I'm just going out there, my rifle, and I'm living off the land. I'm hunting small game, uh, anything I come across, foraging, stuff like that just to live off the land. Uh, it's gonna be five days. All I'm taking with me in, uh, in, in um, terms of food is gonna be black coffee and some spices uh, for the food that I can get, or hopefully I can get. But uh, besides from that, I'm gonna be in the middle of bear country. There's lots of bears in the area. There's many, many, many bears, and there's so many um, uh, confrontations this year of people running into bears. So uh, I'm gonna be trying to avoid that by building a platform high up in the trees and that's where I'll be camping out at night just uh, just to be safe and uh, and do something a little different so with that being said it's also going to double up once deer season hits as my deer uh, blind so uh, yeah we'll get started this is going to be a one part one of a two-part series building this thing so today I'm going to paint up the beams I had a neighbor who was very generous and gave me some old lumber he had so I'm going to paint those beams up just so they last a little longer and I'll go out and I'll situate those and then we'll finish it over the next few days. And uh, yeah, so let's get started. Well, they were painted up there now. Um, so I'll bring those out, get the framing put up. Then I gotta get some, uh, some more lumber and some plyboard laid down. Now to find some decent trees so I can set this up. back all the dead branches.
that are dead just because uh, such heavy canopy they uh, they're pretty much converted into fat wood so I'll be picking some of that up Unfortunately, I've got my level, so. Well guys, that's it for today anyways. Part two will be a little bit longer. Today I just managed to get the main support beams put up. They're just tacked up for now. They'll be put in a lot uh, more sturdy uh, on the next video. And then we just gotta get some more uh, beams running this way and then put the ply board on top. And then I will be out of the bear's reach for the most part. I mean, a bear could still climb the trees, but I'm gonna possibly put something that overhangs a little bit. And uh, down here in this area underneath, uh, it'll be out of the rain as well. So this down here could be like a, just a little day hangout or whatever. So I'm gonna do all this up here, get all that prepared up there. So I got a nice safe place to, uh, to, to hang out for that adventure, that one week adventure or a five day adventure. But if I, if I overhang something here, it should stop the bears from climbing up and they're not gonna wanna like overhang they're not, they're not cliffhangers they can climb straight up and straight down but that's pretty much it um, but as you can see this is prime bear territory so we're right in the heart of the woods here so I don't want to mess around with the bears this time of year so this is where we'll be at this will be home for a while so looking forward to it and I'll see you guys on part two of this thanks for following along guys peace